In this question, we are required to find the reading of the m meter of this circuit. And uh, before I give you the solution of this question, I want you to pause this video and try to find out the reading of this m meter on your own. I hope you are done. Now we will move on to the solution. And uh, when you observe the given circuit, you will find we have two sources. The first source is the DC source and the second source is the AC source. And uh, according to the question, we need to find out the reading of this m meter. And we all know that m meters read the current and therefore we will find out this current in this circuit. And uh, let us say that the current is I in this circuit. And uh, we will first find out the current due to this DC source and then we will find out the current due to this AC source and the net current will be the sum of the two currents. So let us move on to our case number one in which we will find out the current due to the DC source which is providing the 4 volts of the voltage. And uh, in order to find out the current due to this source, we will short circuit this source like this. And we know that in case of DC, the inductor will act as the short circuit. And I will assume the current due to this source is equal to I sub DC. And we can find out this current by applying KVL in this loop. We will have I DC equal to 4 volts divided by 1 ohm. So we will have I DC equal to 4 amperes. So in this way we have obtained the current due to this source alone and uh, now we will find out the current due to this source alone. So we will move on to case number 2 in which we will find out the current due to the source which is alternating in nature and giving us the voltage equal to sine t. And for this purpose we will short the DC source and uh, we will also convert the circuit to the frequency domain. The phasor of the voltage source will be one angle 0 degree corresponding to the maximum value and the reactance offered by the inductor it will be equal to J omega L. L we know is equal to 1 Henry and omega from here we can see that upon comparison with sine omega t we will have omega equal to 1. So this is equal to J multiplied to 1 multiplied to 1. So we have J as the reactance offered by this inductor and assuming the current in this circuit is I sub AC we will have the corresponding phasor current as I AC phasor. Now we will apply KVL in this loop. We will have plus 1 angle 0 degree plus 1 angle 0 degree. Then we will have minus I AC phasor multiplied to 1. So we have minus I AC phasor. Then we have minus I AC phasor multiplied to J and they are equal to 0. Now upon simplification of this we will have I AC phasor equal to 1 angle 0 degree over 1 plus J. 1 plus J in polar is equal to root 2 angle 45 degrees. So we will have I AC phasor equal to 1 angle 0 degree divided by root 2 angle 45 degrees. So finally we can say that I AC phasor is equal to 1 over root 2 angle minus 45 degrees in amperes. And uh, we know the parent signal it is sine t and therefore we can have I AC. I AC it will be equal to 1 over root 2 which is the maximum value sine T minus 45 
degrees. So in this way we have obtained the current due to this AC source. Now we can find out the net current. The net current it will be equal to I DC plus I AC. So we have 4 plus 1 over root 2 sine T minus 45 degrees in amperes. Now you can observe that we have harmonics in our current and we want to find out the reading of this ammeter and this ammeter will read the RMS value of this current. This means we need to find out the RMS value of this current and in the previous lecture we saw that the RMS value when the harmonics are present is equal to the square of the DC value. So we have 4 square plus the square of the RMS value of this signal. 1 over root 2 is the maximum value and uh, therefore the RMS value will be 1 over root 2 multiplied to 1 over root 2 which will give us 1 over 2 and then we will take the square. When you solve it you will have I RMS equal to under root 16.25 which is equal to 4.03 amperes. So this ammeter here is going to read 4.03 amperes.